This is just a little video about the needles that I use, interchangeables and straights and how I store them. So I have a number of interchangeable sets and that I've purchased over the years. My first set was the um, Nithers Pride and the Harmony. And so they're like this kind of like wooden um, wooden needles and the way I stored them was in this um, like fishing gear set and I had like the tips in each one of these um, labeled things that they're, they're not in here now I think a lot of them are actually hanging up which I'll talk about in a minute but I had one of these for my knitters pride and then I also had one for my fixed circulars but what I found was I wasn't putting them away very often um, they just ended up in this massive um, big bundle in a you know and I was always like struggling to find them and it was just not quick enough for me to put them away so what I ended up doing, I still have this set. I just don't use them very often because I don't use wood needles. Um, but every now and then I do. And so a few of them might be actually on the on that hanger. My next set that I got was Addy Clicks. And they were metal. And I started using metal a lot more. And I had a lot of Addy Fixed circular needles, which I really liked. The clicks were good because they would, when they clicked in, they wouldn't come apart. Whereas sometimes the, you know, the ones that are screw in would come out. Um, but it wasn't a great join. So it was always, you know, depending on the yarn was sometimes a bit difficult to push along. And then, so the third set that I got um, was the Chow Goos and they are by far my favorite. So I'm actually not too bad about putting these away. If there's um, something, so this is the um, set with, actually I have to check what how long those tips are. Um, it's the sort of, I guess the small set with the five inch tips. The way I knit, I like to have a long shaft to um, put the needle in. That's just my preferred way of, of knitting. Um, but I don't know where that came from. Um, but so yes, yeah, so, and this is the, I guess this is the size from 2.75 to five millimeter and just the standard cables um, in the pocket. I've probably bought a few extra cables since then. There might be, if it's missing in here, it'll either be on a project or it might, in a pinch, I might have just shoved it in my hanging um, hanging rack. I do have, um, I have this for my double pointed needles because I don't use double pointed needles very often. And I think this was, um, I might have got this in a swap or something at some point. So I have um, this, but I also have some smaller ones, some, um, I think they're also Knitter's Pride um, like more like sock size uh, and that's in a little actually I'll find that in a second I'll show you um, so that's my double pointed needles uh, a lot of those like these are a lot of these sort of metal ones are inherited from my mum or my grandma and then um, I have um, this which I actually got off D-Stash from a friend because she found she wasn't using them these are signature straight needles and I do sometimes use these for swatching or um, for just a small project so I think my 4.5s are missing. I think they might be on my, um, they might actually be on my swatch from my knitters, um, knitting bag of tricks, Patty Lyons knitting bag of tricks. I think that's where that those ones are. Um, I don't use these a lot, but I do actually quite like um, using them if I'm just swatching or doing something small um, or something that's flat. And I don't, I don't knit a lot that's flat. So I also have these um, like smaller double pointed needles. A couple of them might be in one of my, um, one of my baskets. Oh, I know actually they're right here. I'll put them away. Um, I was using these for actually for my Audrey top for the straps. So I do find it handy when I'm just doing something really small like I cord to have some small little double pointed needles because otherwise you're like pulling that long cable through, which is quite annoying. Right. So I'll get on to the, um, the main thing that I think the uh, viewers were asking about, which is my storage solution. That is not the most beautiful storage solution, but it's actually one that I use. And it's certainly a lot better than a whole bunch of needles stuck in a basket um, trying to rummage through to figure out what needle size. Now, I don't think I can avoid this being kind of noisy, um, but this is a, these are a, a lot of my um, circular needles. Some of them um, are actually Addy Clicks that I've just, um, you know, I'm not using that holder anymore. So I've just put them in here um, so I can always, you know, grab them. This is where I actually put stuff away. So, and like, I may not know, I can definitely tell what needle size it is. You can see some of these little labels have fallen off and some of the sections like the, um, so what you do is you sew like the backing, which is this section here. And then I actually just sewed it closed around a hanger. And then you do the, 
the strip that sits on the front and I just labeled them with like a label maker. Some of them have fallen off, but I can tell if that's the three mil, that's the 2.75, that's the 2.5, that's the 2.25, that must be the two um, or anything that's smaller goes up there. And it goes all the way down to a 10 millimeter. And then I have a little pocket at the bottom for my um, needle gauge. I always keep, I've got needle gauges everywhere, but I keep those there. Sorry about the clanging. Um, so some of these I can tell, uh, like I actually have, like that's a um, Knitter's Pride, um, you know, interchangeable stuck on there, but at least I know that's where it, um, you know, if I'm looking for something, I start here. And so it has from my 40 centimeters, I probably don't even have, if I have a 30 centimeter, it's in here, but I usually don't. I find that like my hands cramp if I use um, needles that size. So, oh yeah, here, here's my um, Addy, not my Addy, my Chiago interchangeable 3.75. So um, at some point, you know, like if I'm going away somewhere on a trip, I'll go through this and pull out the ones that belong in my Chiago set, but at least I put them away here. And so um, I just find this actually really works for me. It didn't take very long to make. Um, in the description box, I'll put a link. I don't think I followed a specific tutorial. I just followed like some photo shots of and so, um, someone's blog where they actually had made this and I sort of, you know, just kind of tried to copy it, I guess. Yeah, so I found this kind of was like my good starting point, um, but I actually found that I ended up, I wasn't actually putting them, all, them away in these. And the only reason I still have this is this is kind of like my emergencies. But I, like I find I can't switch from metal to wood um, anyway, so like because my gauge had changed. So these just don't get used very often. But I'm always hopeful that, you know, someone in my family will be, you know, excited to knit and, um, you know, like because all my kids know how to knit but they're just sort of not actively doing it at the moment. So I still keep all of these things, same like keeping all my, you know, knitting books and magazines and things. I'm, I'm not very good at getting rid of stuff, um, even if I'm not using it. Because <laughs> I always think, well, maybe someone will need it one day. I'm sure I need to do a bit of a Marie Kondo on my house. But anyway, that's that solution, even though it's not the most amazing, like, looking. Um, I tried to make it look as pretty as I could, but, and it's, you probably noticed that some of the threading, you have to, like, you really want to double stitch across where you do those channels because they get a lot of weight, obviously, on them. So some of them probably need me to, um, to go back and stitch along it. So that might be a, a holiday project for me. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that and, um, you know, answer the viewer questions about that. So that's how I store my needles.